Residents of Coco in Delta states took to the streets in protest against the Olariaya, Pa Rich Wellet Senua, who called for the removal of their divisional police officer, SP Arthuka Menawona. The protest, which attracted hundreds of locals on Friday, denounced at Senua for leading a previous demonstration against the DPO. With placards reading, Coco DPO is doing what is right, and we have known peace since this DPO came. The protesters argued that the officer is simply fulfilling his duties and called on the state government to step in. They claim the community has enjoyed more peace since the DPO's arrival and accuse Parat Senua of disrupting that stability. We are appealing to uh, NNPC, uh, ND, what is it called, uh, regulatory authority, to come to the level of our understanding by doing the needful, by opening up the depot. As I speak with you, the vessel, they tie it to the jetty. The jetty is, 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 is supplying the uh, four companies are using that jetty to, to supply their PMS and their byproducts. As I speak with you, that jetty, the vessel is there. And community gets some responsible uh, uh, remunerations from the, from the jetty when the vessel comes. For the past nine months, nothing is coming to the community. Our workers, our brothers and sisters have been dropped, no salary, more than 150 workers. Huh? And as I'm talking to you, this is coming to another effect to a peaceful community, which is Coco. Yeah. Coco is not known for crime. But because of this lock, uh, blockage now, if you go to Tartarus, so it's called the commercial hub of Coco. As I speak with you, that place is lock and key. So all, all efforts for us to, to meet, we don't even know what to meet, but we know that it's this office that regulates tank farm in Coco.